Aladdin and the Magic Lamp Once upon a time in Arabia, there lived a poor widow who had a son named Aladdin. One day they met a mysterious stranger who offered to pay Aladdin a silver coin in return for doing a simple task. The stranger, a sorcerer, led Aladdin to a cave. The opening of the cave is too small for me to enter, said the stranger. There is an old lamp inside the cave. Go in and bring it to me. The cave was filled with treasures and an old lamp. The sorcerer thundered, Give me the lamp! All right, but let me out first, replied Aladdin. As the wizard pushed Aladdin back, into the cave, a ring fell from his finger. The wizard blocked the opening to the cave, so Aladdin slipped the ring onto his finger. Suddenly, a genie appeared. I'm the genie of the ring, he said. What is your wish? Aladdin replied, I want to go home. Poof, he was home. Aladdin still held the old lamp in his hand. When he gave it a rub to clean it, a second genie appeared. I'm the genie of the lamp. What is your command? Aladdin smiled shyly. Food, please. Poof, it was done. Aladdin and his mother were never hungry again. One day, Aladdin saw the sultan's daughter and fell in love with her. Aladdin's mother gave the sultan a box of jewels to convince him to let his daughter marry her son. The sultan asked Aladdin to prove his worth by giving him 40 stallions bearing 40 boxes of jewels. Aladdin asked the genie to help them. The genie smiled and instantly fulfilled Aladdin's request. Poof! The jewels and horses appeared. So Halima, the sultan's daughter, and Aladdin got married. They were in love and lived happily. But one day, the wizard came to the palace disguised as a peddler. Halima, not knowing the, oil, the old lamp was magical, gave it to him. Immediately, the sor sorcerer summoned the genie and ordered him to carry the princess and the palace to a far-off land. Now you will be my wife, shouted the sorcerer with a cruel laugh. Poor Halima fell, in, fell to the ground crying. When Aladdin found out that his wife had disappeared, he remembered the wizard's ring. He put it on his finger and the genie appeared. Great genie, take me to my wife at once. Poof. Aladdin was back at the palace. The powers of the genie of the lamp were much greater than those of the genie of the ring. So Aladdin had to wait for the wizard to fall asleep before taking the lamp from him. With Halima's help, he succeeded. Aladdin rubbed the, the lamp. Poof! I'm happy to see my rightful owner again, the genie said. Shall we go home? At once, said Aladdin. The palace rose into the air and floated dreamily back to the sultan's kingdom.